Hello everybody, my name is Angela, if you have not met me yet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I have a very special video planned because it is something that I am super passionate about. Um, so today I wanted to talk over my Art of Disney collection. So I love um, the behind the scenes magic of filmmaking. I obviously minored in film and majored in communication and media arts. I was super um, inspired by Disney's movies so I started collecting the art of Disney collection books. Um, so I have quite a bunch here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 12, 13 if you include my Star Wars one as well. Um, and I just wanted to go through what I had. If you guys collected as well, I would like to see your collection. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, we are the kindest fam in the game and I make DCP, Disney, and lifestyle video content. Um, and let's get started. So actually, before I start, I just want to say that this isn't meant to brag about my collection or to um, shove it in your face. This is just a really chill video to discuss my collection um, and also just talk through it. I would love to hear what you collect, if you collect the same thing as me, um, how many is in your collection, um, or if you didn't even know about this, because I didn't know about this before I started, obviously, <laughs> and it's something that I really, really enjoy and I enjoy reading, uh, so yeah. So for the first one that I have, I actually am going to do the first one that I ever got for myself. This is The Art of Monsters, Inc. And this one's really special to me because I saved up all of my money, which was $30. <laughs> and I got this for myself. Um, I got this on eBay. And if you look here, it has all of the concept art from the movie. It also has, it breaks it down between characters and stories, um, and then it also has little snippets. Um, they go into a lot about like the background monsters and like the sketches that came from that. Uh, it's so cool that there's not just artists, like the artists are expected to also create stories um, with that. And then they have an introduction by John Lasseter and Pete Docter. Um, and yeah, it's retailed for 40 um, which is honestly a little pricey, but for what you get, it's a lot. Um, my, one of my favorites is this one. That one's really nice. Um, and yeah, this is just always going to hold a special place in my heart because it's my first book that I received. And yeah, the second book is one of my favorites, obviously, because I'm best friends with this Wayfinder. And it is Moana. Uh, so this one I just had to get because of my connection with the character. Um, Moana has taught me so much about adventure and kindness and courage. So this was something I definitely wanted to have in my collection. I love the art right here and I love how you don't necessarily see their faces. Um, but it shows just the art of everything with like the landscape and then the ship. Um, and then it has a preface by John Lasseter. And then also Ron Clements um, adds to it. It's a little bit of a different tone than Monsters, Inc. It's a little bit more darker. You see how they refine their, the books over time. Um, I really like seeing like all the Voyagers. So this is like all of the headdresses that they were thinking of having them wear. This is all the Voyagers themselves. They were saying how Pua's design was um, really, really cute but super generic. So they wanted to add a little bit of oomph to his look. Um, so that's how we landed with the white, gray, and pink, um, which I love. And this is just some of the concept art. It's really cool to see like what they were planning and intending to do with their character. Um, this is what Maui was originally gonna look like. Um, and I just think overall, it's a really in-depth book about the art of Disney which is literally what the book is about and you can see they also did um, some digital drawings and I like how they show you like what it's made by so some of them are made by graphite some was digital um, some was actually a clay sculpture so this one was a clay sculpture and then this one right here is digital so this one's digital as well um, which looks super super realistic so just um, is a testament to how talented um, everyone is there's also a bunch of things on the Kakamoras. So they go into the different faces. And I think also as 
um, someone who acts, it's very important to just know the background of your character um, and really get into why they were created and such. So this is something that I use for pleasure, but also for informational reasons and educational purposes as well. Um, it's definitely just an all-encompassing book um, that I really enjoy. So that is Moana. The next one I love, it's Coco. Um, so Coco is definitely a favorite of mine. Um, this one also retails for $40. I think all of them are $40. Um, but I mean, it's going to be a little bit of the same template, but I'll show some of the art. So this is some of the modes of transportation that they have. Ooh, I also like this. So this is the vac. You see all those sketches? It's so interesting, like, the colors that they choose um, when they're also doing all of their concept art. So a lot of the times, movies will just pay a bunch of artists to do concept art, and then they'll pick and choose stuff that they like from it to gain inspiration from. Um, but it's, it helps a lot in world building and kind of developing your scenes because, yes, you're telling the story of the specific characters, but they're part of a larger narrative. Um, in that world, so you want to tell the story of the world as well. Um, so this here is a little bit of a storyboard. I've done storyboards before for class, um, and it's definitely really unique, um, and you don't have to be a good artist in order to do a great storyboard, um, but it certainly does help. And yeah, you can just see the colors are very purple, orange, green, um, which is definitely reminiscent of the colors in the film, which makes sense. So that's Coco. The next one is Up. Um, so I actually wasn't sure if I was going to get this book or not. Um, however, I was on Reddit and I was just sharing my collection and someone said, Hey, I saw you didn't have Up. I have Up. If you would like it, let me know. You just have to pay shipping. So I said, bet. <laughs> and I actually paid $13. Um, so thank you, T.W. Farley. So I still have his note um, on here. And he was such a nice gentleman for letting me have this because I guess he just wasn't using it anymore. Um, yes, yeah, so I only paid $13.95 for this one. And this one is really, really cool. So they see you have the sculptures that they used. And they also have Ellie and then her concept art for Ellie. Um, it's so cool to see their progression from children to adults, and I think that's something that's really highlighted in this book. Um, and what I also like here is like this is Pete Doctor, so Pete Doctor was I believe the director, and you can see like his drawings as well, um, and it just helps add to the whole narrative and see like what everyone contributed to. Um, and then this is like the font that they use; it's super cool. Um, Up wasn't a movie that necessarily struck me. Um, it was falling in line with like The Good Dinosaur, um, Cars 2. It's not necessarily bad, it's just not something that was very impactful to me. Um, however, it's still an amazing story. I just necessarily wouldn't get merch specifically for Up or I wouldn't go out of my way, go out of my way for specifically Up merchandise. So those are the ones that I read and however, I also have a lot of ones um, that I have not read yet. As a collector, um, this is gonna sound so bougie, but as a collector I would like to keep the condition of the books that I have. Um, so there's other ways for me to read it, but in terms of displaying, I have a lot of them still wrapped. So the next ones, um, are not gonna be me going in, in depth, sorry I'm trying to pick it up, in depth, but it's still, um, a lot of books that I really enjoy and that I have read one way or another, but these are just the wrapped ones. So this is Wreck-It Ralph. Um, something that I actually learned from this book is they have a lot of, um, analogies with their, um, shapes. So for example, uh, Wreck-It Ralph has a lot of cubes and a lot of the art that was involved with it was very square shaped, um, four corners. Um, in terms of um, Sugar Rush, it was all circles, so a lot of circular shapes, a lot of blobs. And then for, uh, I don't want to get her name wrong, maybe Jamie Lee Curtis? I could be wrong. I'm not sure what her name is, but whoever is like the badass girl, 
her world is all triangles. Um, so we see that juxtaposition between shapes and then that how, that's how like they all shape their animation. Um, so that was something really cool I learned from this book and I also just like the front. Um, what you really see is the spine when I display it. So it's just Art of Disney, it has this nice uh, publisher sign for Chronicle Books and then the Walt Disney logo. Something I like about all of these, let me lift it up, <laughs> is that they all fare really really nice. This one's a little bit older so it's not going to have the same but this all has like the same binding so it's really nice for displaying. The next one I have is Tangled. This one actually I want to open really really bad because I actually have not read this one. Um, but this did retail for 40 I got it for 40 um, The preface was by John Lasseter. Um, and then this is just like the art of Tangled. Um, something that I loved about Tangled was the art specifically. Um, I love the lantern scene, but also just how art is interwoven into um, Rapunzel's life. Um, so that is my Tangled book. Next one is Brave. Homegirl is Pixar's first princess and I love it. So this is just my Brave book. I haven't opened it. Really don't intend on. It's like actually like perfect condition. Um, but this one was 40 as well. I have Frozen. So actually I read, I don't know where I read this. I don't know where I read this. Um, but I read it and then somehow now I have the, <laughs> along the way, I have the Wrapped Frozen book. Um, so what I love about this book that I read it um, and the Elsa was supposed to be like a villain, so we saw a lot of Elsa's original concept design. She had short hair, um, she was blue, uh, so that's something that I learned from these books and that was really cool. This is my Frozen one. Next one is Incredibles 2. Um, Incredibles 2 definitely was a cool movie. It wasn't like in my face and I actually didn't know if I was going to get the art of book for this. However, um, I'm glad I got it from my collection. It's more of like a collector's item um, than actually me wanting to read it. I'm just going to be completely honest. So this is my Incredibles one. Next one I have been itching to open but I do not want to um, to just to keep the integrity of the book and this is the art, art of Ratatouille. I I honestly love this and actually I might open this after I finish this video. This one again range uh, it was $40 like 41 something with tax um, and something I love and I've actually read a couple pages from like the preview um, is like all of the art of France specifically and then how that integrates with the Ratatouille. Um, so this is just my Ratatouille book. We're down to the last two. Um, so this is Zootopia. Um, I love this movie just for the hidden message of systematic racism, um, which is definitely prevalent today. Um, but then also, Zootopia had a lot, a lot, a lot of posters. Um, so you can actually see it in the back as well. Um, there's just a lot of posters that they use. And I actually used to have a Zootopia poster in my room. Um, I used to work at AMC theaters and they were just going to throw it out. So I decided to take it. It wasn't really that I loved it or anything. Um, but all of their posters had like puns, which was super cool. So the posters that are having puns and then also that stylized look of the posters that go through the different lands of Zootopia is something I really wanted to explore. So that's why I got this book. Last but not least, um, this is Inside Out. This matches my aesthetic a lot uh, with like the pale pink. Um, the forward's by Amy Poehler and I love Amy Poehler. She voiced um, Joy and then the introduction is by Pete Docter. Um, and we see the back. I think by this time they really perfected the art of template. So we see here, um, they have like this, like it looks like the notes are all pins. Just a cute little stylized approach. Um, and then they have like the second act, they have a bunch of storyboards. Um, something cool about this movie is that there's so many emotions so that they can really play with it. Um, so that's why I wanted to get the book. And that was my Art of Disney book collection. I hope you enjoyed listening, um, that you were probably just grabbing a snack and then watching. Uh, but this is something I'm definitely passionate about and I definitely love and I want to continue collecting. I don't really have a big bookshelf. Um, because I just have my little desk, but when I get a bookshelf, I definitely want to display it better. Um, and hopefully it show like this side of it, because I think right now it's just, it's just like this, and that's not really that cool. Um, but thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to, um, subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, talk with me. 
Um, I'll, I always respond back to everything. So um, I hope everyone has a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.